Hello again. One of my friends recently went on a trip to Los Angeles uh, and before he went I asked him if he would keep an eye out for some of the Hot Wheels Premium Mountain Drifters set um, and fortunately he managed to find three of the five cars and uh, perhaps even more fortunately there were three cars I particularly wanted of the five. Um, so yeah I was, I, was, I was very pleased to get them and um, we haven't seen these in the UK um, the only outlet that I know of that sells um, Hot Wheels car culture premium models is Smith's Toys and um, they haven't had them in yet so uh, they had the, the following set, the uh, Exotic Envy, so I don't think you will be seeing these now but um, they are a really nice set, um, if you're a fan of JDM then this is for you because these are all uh, drift cars or as, as the title suggests, uh, mountain drifters so um so yes, all JDM drift related cars. Um, the first one we're looking at now is a real beauty, the uh, 2003 Honda NSX Type R. Um, a really nice model this is. Um, previously it has been released, I think uh, a couple of years ago in one of the Fast and Furious premium sets uh, in black. Um, I think it looks better in this um, authentic Japanese racing white. Um, I think a lot of the actual real cars came in this uh, white with white wheels um, colour combination and it really suits the car. We've got some nice detailing on the front there. Um, we've got lensed headlights, we've got the Honda logo and we've got some little um, vents there that have been coloured in in black. Uh, some nice uh, 10 spoke alloys and at the rear we have the um, the iconic red strip that goes across the back of the NSRs, NSX. Quite nice detailing there with a, uh, a license plate. I think it says NSX on it. So that's, that's very nice. It's a really beautiful car. It's the, um, the facelifted uh, NSX from the late 90s, from about 1997 onwards, through to, uh, I think it was around 2004 they stopped making it. But yeah, that's a very, very nice model. It's number, it's number three of five in the set. Let's have a little look at the actual models available in this set. So we have um, the Toyota Sprinter Truno, number one, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, number two of five, um, this one, the NSX, number three of five, number four is the one that everyone's looking for, the, um, the Super Silhouette Skyline Liberty Walk car, which is beautiful. Um, I do. I'm lucky enough to have that one as part of the team transport set, and it is a, it is a pretty good model, I must say. And the last one is the second after the the Skyline, the second of the new castings for this uh, series, which is the uh, Toyota Celica GT4. You might notice that um, this being an American card. The images of the cars in the set is actually larger than the ones we're used to on the um, the European cards. So just a little difference there. So yeah, next up we have the Toyota Celica GT4. Again, fantastic artwork on these um, Mountain Drifters set. Let's have a look at the car. This is a, this is a new casting, as I, as I mentioned. Some very nice detailing at the front there. We've got uh, headlights, we've got grills, vents, driving lights, all represented there very nicely. And the, uh, the vents on the bonnet top are all coloured in black, make them look more realistic. We've even got some little uh, windscreen washers featured there. Nice uh, five spoke chromed alloys and finished in a rather nice pale yellow. Some good detailing on the back there. We've got the uh, the lights, of course, a license plate, plate 
all the um, Celica and Toyota badge work. So a really nice model. It does strike me actually that um, this being a, uh, a drift car series, that the first two models we've looked at, actually I don't think would be really used in drifting that much. Um, I mean, the NSX is a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car, so I guess you could get that to drift. Um, but this is a four-wheel drive car, which um, I'm not sure whether you can get a four-wheel drive car to drift in the same way as you can in the traditional front-engine rear-wheel drive uh, setup, which most drift cars seem to have. But, um, well, there you go. Um, Hot Wheels did actually do another drift car set, uh, I think, last year, 2021, called Slide Street, that did actually seem to feature more realistic drift cars. There was the uh, Nissan 200SX, um, there was a Mustang, I think, to, to name a few. But uh, yeah, anyway, still, um, this is still a beautiful car and um, a really nice addition to the Hot Wheels premium range. So yeah, good model. So the last one from the Mountain Drifters set is absolutely iconic drift car. This, of course, is the Toyota AE86 Truno Sprinter. Sprinter Truno. Um, this is obviously something that um, seems to be built to drift. It's a, a traditional front-engine rear-wheel drive car, based, of course, on a 1980s Toyota Corolla. Um, in fact, they, there are two models that Toyota built, um, identical cars. There's the Sprinter Truno, which had a, a more raked, sleek front end, more looking like a, a Celica, perhaps, with pop-up headlights. And there was exactly the same car called the Corolla Levin, which had a more traditional front end with, uh, with a grill and, um, and headlights built into the grill. In fact, that was sold in the UK under the name of the uh, the Crowler um, hat liftback. That was it, and we're seeing a few of those on the roads. But yeah, this is a, again. Look at this artwork on these series. These are absolutely brilliant. And the car has got some amazing graphics on it. And it looks like a a, a manga style cartoon girl there on the side with pink hair. Uh, some Japanese writing. She appears to be um, holding up her fingers in a, in a peace sign. Um, she's on on the she features on the bonnet as well. And the front end details we can see we've got uh, headlight details, uh, the grill, indicators, driving lights, and a Japanese license plate there. Um, we haven't seen these details, uh, front end details, on the the mainline version of this car. Uh, rear detailing, we've got the Japanese uh, manja girl on the rear bumper with with the writing repeated. Um, we've got the Japanese license plate, and we've got all the Sprinter Truno badge work. So all the details are there. And that's a, that, that's a that's a really nice model. I do like that. Very unusual. So yeah, that's the the Sprinter Truno. Before I go, I did mention that I there was an earlier drift car series, and I did manage to pick up one of these. I think at Sandown Park Toy Fair, um, Slide Street was the name of the set from two thousand twenty one, and this this one is a very nice model. This is the Subaru, the Pandem Subaru BRZ in the uh, iconic Falcon livery. Just thought I'd give you a quick look at that one because it isn't part of the uh, Mountain Drifters set. It's, it is the Slide Street set. So just a little something extra just to, to give you a look at that. Kind of, it's kind of in keeping with the drift car theme. So there, that's that's the Mountain Drifter set. Um, three of the five cars. Um, the three I actually wanted, to be perfectly honest. So um, thanks to my friend for picking those up in Los Angeles. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, stay safe, uh, enjoy your hobby, and happy hunting. <laughs>